And now for the fun part. It's time to get animating. As you can see, I have a ton of layers, and as I said in the previous video, they will animate in the order I created them. If you created your paths out of your desired animation order, you can manually reorder them now. Cinema 4D will animate the bottom path first and work its way up. In Illustrator, I recommend making a few groups to organize the animation order. Here I did 8 groups and then I manually organized each layer within the groups. Yes, that's right, I manually moved 800 layers. I decided to save you from watching the 30 minutes of screen capture. It just wasn't entertaining and I think you get the idea. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Draw your paths in the order from the very beginning and you don't have to do this. Live and learn. Now, export your final .ai file and save it as an Illustrator 8 file. This is super important, just ignore the warnings. In Cinema 4D, click File, Merge Objects, and import your file, leaving the default import options. Open your Illustrator object in the layer window and select All Paths, right click, and click Connect plus Delete. Drag the new path out from its parent and delete the parent. My path isn't centered, so I move it there now. Now add a sweep, which will draw the square along our path. We will need to add another path shape. This will bring life to our path and make it visible in the final render. Choose what shape you like. You can always change and experiment later. It's not set in stone. I like the square sized 2 cm by 2 cm. Check mark rounding and make it 0.5 cm. Child the illustrator path and the square inside the sweep by dragging them in. Add a light to check the render output, but it's not needed. Now add a plane and rotate it to fit behind your entire path object. We will use it to create a green background that will then create an alpha channel in After Effects. Double click in the material window to create a new material. Make a green and uncheck specular. X out the window, then drag the mat onto the plane object in the layer palette. Now create a second material with a black color instead of green. And add it to the sweep and the path. Now all you have to do is animate the end growth of the sweep to simulate the drawing effect. Move the cursor to frame 90 and control click the end growth at 100%. Then slide the timeline to frame 1. Reduce the end growth to 0 and control click it to create your final keyframe. choose make preview. Choose the render settings you desire and click OK. When it's done calculating and the picture viewer opens, choose the type of save you would like and further refine your settings and click OK.
Now, import your render into After Effects. Right click on it and choose Make Comp from Selection. As you can see, my green background object didn't cover the entire render. So I'm just going to make the comp smaller as a way of cropping out the black parts that I don't need. To edit the composition size, just click Ctrl K. Now add key light to the line art video. Click on the eyedropper for screen color and click the green background and boom goes the dynamite and alpha is born. Key light is seriously the best. Thank you Adobe. Create a solid by hitting Ctrl plus Y to make a temp background so you can see your line art. Now duplicate your half face and right click and choose transform and flip horizontal. I imported a rendered image of the wolf. I had made it 1280 by 720, which is going to be my final render output for these videos. I made a new comp of the same size and placed the image inside. Drag our line art animation comp into our rendered image comp. Make sure it's on top and scale the line art to match the render. I realized I didn't choose Art Optimized when I rendered this second image from Illustrator. And I can see those nasty little white gaps. So I returned to AI and fixed that by rendering Art Optimized like I should have did in the first place. I also added a little bit of resolution so I had to scale it down to match the line art. I adjust the rendered image to suddenly appear as the line art finishes drawing in and blend it as necessary. In the line art comp, I duplicate each and isolate the final two or three frames. Make sure that there's no movement on those frames and then I stretch them to make it appear as though the line art is just staying on screen. There are many ways to animate paths in many programs. So search your memory and you may just find something from the past that just may very well produce something unique. For me, I found Swish Max 4. I exported an EMF from Illustrator and imported that into Swishmax. Ungrouped everything the same as I did in Cinema 4D. I hit select all and then I added an effect. I chose one from the appear into position subfolder and I applied it to all 800 plus shapes. I clicked play and if I saw something that had potential I exported it as an AVI. I went through a lot of these and most of them looked horrible, but I did find four that I like. After I imported them into After Effects, I gave them their own comp and mirrored them just the same as we did with the line art video from Cinema 4D. brought those Swishmax renders into the timeline and played with position and blending layers. To 
to cycle through the Photoshop-esque blending of a layer, hit Shift and Plus. This is where you can let your creativity fly. Who knows where you'll go with this? Who knows what you'll put where or how you'll do? Your imagination is unlimited. And that's why I believe we are all truly infinite. I decided to add one of those awesome anime style eye sparkles. I draw the star with the pen duel and refine the points. Next I draw a circle shape and animate its scale and opacity. For the star layer, I animate the scale and opacity and rotation. Simple stuff, anybody could do it. And here's my final render, low poly with style. I just wanted to say again, thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see what you create. Remember everybody, stay infinite.